Hey, good morning, Capricorn. What's up? It's your girl, Raven. I'm just off camera today because it's early in the morning. I don't feel like it all dialed up for you guys. You feel me? <laughs> and it's all about the message anyway. So I figured let me just get on here and show my hands. All right. So welcome, everybody. Yeah, that's right. We're in God's plan. Amen. But anyways, let me introduce the reading, Capricorn, okay? Um, and give my disclaimer, okay? This reading is indeed for Capricorn, but you could have it somewhere in your chart and maybe this one make it resonate for you or maybe someone around you might know someone that's a Capricorn. My point is to please take what does resonate, leave what does not, and by all means, please enjoy the reading, okay? Um, please do not try to make things fit if they're not meant to. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support for the channel. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe and share the videos. It certainly helps the channel out. And thank you guys so much for all the super thanks, the donations. Um, anyone interested in donating, I have a cash app that I'm going to add to the description in the videos, okay? Thank you guys so much. And let's get to your reading, Capricorn, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, please tune me into the collective frequency for Capricorn. What are the messages here? Okay, Capricorn, so things are changing for you. You're in creation. We have Odin's room, Ingus, which means C, creation, genesis, process, evolution. You could be, you're, you could have a, a burst of energy. Like things could be really, really taken off for you guys at this time. Um, things are growing. Evolution. You're changing. Okay. There we go with that negative energy shit. But let's see what else comes out. Well, it wants to come out. GTA, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> so someone here may have a four-star wanted level, okay? For those who played a video game or have watched someone play, you know what I'm talking about, okay? But someone here could have a lot of vices or deal with a lot of vices, you know, like um, Grand Theft Auto, for example, you know, stealing cars or, you know, you know, somebody, in other words, somebody's got either got a warrant out for the rest or they're, hot, they're a hot boy, hot girl. They're always in trouble one way or the other. So, or this could talk about how you're evolving and changing. I, I mean, we're well, not changing, but like coming out of this karmic energy here, you know, where you're breaking a law or breaking rules or whatever it is, you know, got people looking for you or somebody does, you know, maybe you're evolving. Maybe someone in your situation is. Now, um, let's see what else. I replay our special moments in my head. Okay, someone's thinking about you. Isn't that sweet? What else? Somebody here wants to take you down. Ugh, here we go. Yeah, you're ascending to a new level of vibration here. Okay, most definitely. Someone here could be trying to blackmail someone. Let me see what's in the rest of these index cards. I don't really try to focus too much on them because they're random messages so i just again just take out resonates okay but you guys could be dealing with an energy vampire my crazy ex won't let me go so i keep my feelings for you on the down low so yeah someone here could be also be dealing with a very karmic uh situation an ex energy here someone here could be having readings done to spy on you divorce this can involve a virgo and it also could involve a Rico case, okay, which would fall right into this Grand Theft Auto shit over here. Like somebody here could be reckless, afraid of what their family or social circle will think. Something could be going on in some days. Drug tests. Like, I, like there's something going on here too. That that could be a, an individual message, whatever, take out resonates. But someone here may have definitely operate out, operate out her ego, you know, doing something foolish or reckless. And now they could have Johnny Law breathing down their neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so just take that out of resonance, okay? But let me get into the rest of the reading here. All right, Holy Spirit. What's the cosmic insight here for Capricorn for today's message? What's the basis? What's the base here for today's message for Capricorn? Liar. Be careful of someone sneaky. Well, the base energy here is that someone has been lying to you, Capricorn, or someone is on a very much deceptive energy. Sorry, guys. I got the camera pointed at the table, so I need to adjust and make room here. 
Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, like someone here could been someone here is lying about something. They they or they're being sneaky or about some sort of deception here. Distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Divorce. Experiencing a breakup. Ah, well, that explains something here. So you may be dealing with someone here going that you're going that's going through a divorce, or you could be going through a divorce or a breakup. Maybe they are. You know, there could be some distance here. So there could be you may be dealing with a break. You may be breaking up with someone here who you feel is sneaky or deceptive one way or the other. Or you could be, if not a complete breakup, you're definitely there, there's definitely some distance here <laughs> between you and somebody. You know, I feel like somebody's not trusting someone, like something's not adding up or something seems off. Hmm. What's for what's the vibe here around this liar, this divorce, this distance? Let's see what the vibe is. Exhausted, burnt out, burdened, empty. Hmm. mass hiding concealing deception um someone is burnt out you guys could be very tired of someone hiding something you know that somebody is not being honest with you about something you may not know quite what it is you just know your intuition could be screaming at you that something is just not right with this energy you know you know they're hiding something and you guys are tired of it like you guys are burnt out you know what i'm saying just know a bird a very much burdened by the fact that someone's been hiding something you know, this could also say that somebody here who is lying themselves is tired of wearing this mask, too. Like, they're probably tired of lying. Like, I really feel so, a lot of exhaustion here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Possibilities. Follow your dreams. Make up your mind. Believe in yourself. Establish. Settle. Secure. Wealthy. So, I really feel like you guys got up out of this energy. Got away from this energy. Because you really felt like maybe they were hiding something. You don't know what quite it is, quite what it is. But you guys definitely had to make up your mind to follow your dreams and believe in yourself. And just walk away from this and just focus on the coin. You know, and things are looking good for you. You know what I'm saying? Money's coming in. You could be getting new cars, new homes. You know, your, you know, your company's taking off. Business is well for you. You know what I'm saying? Because, you, you know, you just couldn't deal with this shit anymore. You know, it's like, I really feel like you guys kind of like pull back the energy and worry about the deception here or whatever this is and just really distance yourself and just say, hey, it is time for me to move on here and just focus on me. Period. Yeah, baby. Glow up. <laughs> new opportunities, new career, successful business. I just said that, y'all. I'm not joking. Wishful thinking, second chance, deja vu, nostalgia. So now that you've like cut off an energy tie from this energy, you know what I'm saying? Like since you've cut this tie and they see you over here, you know, living your best life and everything's good. Now they got wishful thinking for a second chance, you know, or someone here is reminiscing. They have nostalgia fits and they're reminiscing about the good times you and them used to have together. And they see you moving on without them. Yeah. So yeah, this could be a masculine energy involved. That's an X. That's clingy. <clears throat> Does it have to be? Or a masculine energy can be dealing with a clingy X. You know, take it how it resonates, okay? But um, I really feel like, you know, you guys are really taking charge. You know what I'm saying? With this masculine energy card here. Like, you really are being disciplined. You know, you're really just like, you know, staying focused and doing what you making the moves you know you need to make. And if this is a masculine energy, you know, I really feel like he's doing this and he's not. This could be an ex that's trying to come back towards him and he's already moved on. Like, he's not too much fooling with it no more. He's not. This was something that had to be divine intervention from spirit. Archangel Michael. Protection prevented from harm. Divine intervention. You know what I'm saying? Because this was just you know, going too far, I feel, you know, and you guys weren't able to do what you need to do with yourself, focusing on this energy, what they could or cannot be hiding, like, what is the mask card about, what were they hiding, 
Yeah, somebody's two-faced, dude. Look at this. Double life, cheater, backstabber. Yeah, so you got, like I said, you guys are burnt out with this shit. You're burnt out. You guys are done. You know, see how homies, like, I know my camera, y'all, but homeboy is, like, laid out on the bed with his hands over his face with his suitcase, like, two suitcases packed. Like, one's packed and locked and ready to go, and this one over here is open, and it's got clothes in it, like, 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 look clothes over here. Like, homies, like, dude, like, dude, I'm done with this. I am packing up. I am done. I, I can't do this no more. And so you may have done this Capricorn and, and moved on. And this person is just stuck in whatever mess they don't put themselves in. Don't the, the, I really feel like it's, this could be a situation where someone got themselves caught up in a situation and you, you know, had a choice to make. Do I get involved in this or do I walk away? And you fucking walked away. You, you know, like this is too much going on here. And I really feel like this person is replaying special moments in their head about you. You know what I'm saying? And this could very well involve a third party too. It does not have to be the third party. It could be whatever it is they keep, they're hiding from you. You know, it doesn't have to be an actual person. But if this is like an, like an ex or something like that, you know, excuse me. This is definitely, this could definitely be a situation where there was a third party involved, a crazy ex that wouldn't. You know, that was involved in this, stirring things up, stirring up confusion. And like, you just got tired and just like, I got to get away from this. I can't do this no more. I just can't. Yeah, somebody here is very much an energy vampire. And so you guys got into creation. You guys planted a seed within yourselves. And that seed has definitely grown into something major here. And now you're ascending. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time for this mess. You ain't got time for this mess. You know, this is not your baby. This is their baby. Someone here could be like, come to you for wanting, that, wanting help and love and support because now they're facing a RICO case or something court related. You know, like there's a lot going on here. And then we got somebody in the background that wants to take you down. Like, dude, oh, this is just too much. I, I, I can f definitely feel why you guys would want to definitely walk away from this mess. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, let me get into some other cards here crazy okay holy spirit so what's going on with this wants to take you down energy vampire energy like what's up apology Guilt, confession, forgiveness. This could be an ex energy, and whether this is your ex or the ex of the person you're dealing with, they feel sorry or they want to confess something or they want to ask for forgiveness or somebody's just plain out guilty. Period. They maybe someone someone feels guilty for wanting to take you or your person down or something. What's the apology? Overload, excess, obligation, overwhelm. Somebody is wants to ask for forgiveness for um being excessive being extra basically or someone wants um stability harmony acceptance okay someone um may have been really trying to overwhelm someone here to knock them off of their stable foundation to knock their stable foundation down well if it's stable it can't be knocked down Yeah, somebody was wearing a mask. Deception, pretending inconstancy. Yeah, I really, uh, what it is, is that someone wants to come in and apologize or they need to confess or they want, like, some, some sort of apology needs to happen. Someone wants to apologize for, like, really, really, really wearing you down. With the exhausted card, like, somebody is starting to understand that they really wore you down. They really stressed you out, Capricorn, and you can't take it no more. And they want to come in and apologize or try to, or at least have a conversation with you about it because they know they were just doing too much. They know they were. Somebody knows that they were just doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they were wearing a mask. They were being very deceptive towards you or your person. What's the mask about? Or somebody was pretending something. Schedule. Management plan organized. And then check this out, yo. Fury. Offense. Madness. Unpleasantness. Behind that, we got stop, break, pause, stagnation. 
somebody um yeah this is a definitely a, a very bitter angry energy here someone who's pissed you see this steam coming off a homegirl's head like she is not a happy person okay somebody here was definitely doing something deceptive and pretending as though they wouldn't doing a thing someone was just like you know pretending like oh i'm not doing nothing i'm nice and innocent but really they were like organizing like some a way to block or stop you one way or the other Somebody was definitely behind some sort of plans or whatever there was to try to stop you here, Capricorn. You know, because they see that you have victory coming. You're victorious. It didn't work. But they knew, but they, someone knew that you had a victory on your hands, a success, okay? Someone knows that your goal was actually maybe even to be with a soulmate or a twin flame with the eternal love card. So someone sought out to create challenges so that you can enjoy your sweet dreams so that you wouldn't be comfortable. Like, I don't, like, someone here sought to create challenges for you because they just saw that you were just a little bit too comfortable. I really feel like someone did this because not only were you moving on from them, they felt like you may have been moving on to someone else and they weren't too happy about it. Or just gonna, and this could also talk about how someone know even if you, if there is no soulmate, a twin flame, or a new person involved, like a new love involved, someone knows that your goal is to find this person. And they don't, and they don't want, and they, and you're willing to jump over whatever it takes to get to this person, or to make this dream come true for yourself. And they just couldn't seem to have that. They didn't want to be moved on from. Let's get into some um, tarot cards, y'all. Hey, Holy Spirit, for Capricorn, can you give us more insight into the situation, please? Okay, we got the three of wands here. Opportunities coming in, um, taking advantage of things. I mean, you know, a lot of, um, oh shoot, hold on. It's the three of wands. What's that representing? Ha, ah, the world. Oh, hell yeah. New opportunities are coming in for you guys, or maybe they already have. And I really feel like you guys took advantage of it. And now there's a new cycle. You know what I'm saying? You guys are reaping the success of all the hard work you've put in. And you're taking advantage of opportunities left and right to put you in this world energy. You know, this is a new chapter, completing a, completing an old one, completing a cycle, a new one starting. And a lot of new things are coming in for you guys. A lot of opportunities. Ships are coming in. Things are manifesting. Gifts will be given. Six of Pentacles. Let's see what else. Okay, I'll let that in the reverse. So this could talk about how this gift will be given to you after a period of like struggle. Seven of Wands in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is something meant to really bring back your uh, emotional stability and all that. Like I really feel like you guys had to sacrifice a lot to get to where you are. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Like you had to walk away from a lot of disappointing situations and things like that. So now you know you're you're entering a new period of wealth and stability. And really more focused on yourself, not just on who is there, you know, what I'm saying at this dock, you know, what I'm saying who's going to come in on this boat, but just more of, you know, I, I know what I want for myself now. It's three of ones in the world. The tower in reverse. That could be seen as a personal transformation. Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse. You guys are coming out of a lack mindset, overcoming challenges, overcoming, you know, things that like financial loss and things like that. You know, so, yeah, you guys are going through a transformation of the self. You know, you're changing the way that you look at things, the way you look at life, you know, and not just that, but you're taking advantage of major lucrative opportunities coming in, whether this is love, finances, you know, you guys could be traveling. Yeah, look at this. We just popped out the sun, Leo energy. Everything's happy. You know, everyone's happy around you, too. Like, on the sun card, you know, this is a cute... Of course, this is like the little cartoon version, but the little flame, <laughs> you know, he's just, you know, riding around the happy horse, you know what I'm saying? But these two sunflowers are, like, clapping for him. You know, they're happy. 
They are just so happy for this little thing, for this little flame or whatever, this little cute little baby that's riding on this horse. Like everybody's happy for you. You know what I'm saying? They're happy to see you. The sun is happy for you, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of positivity is coming in, guys. You know, you guys went through a lot. Ten of swords. And then that kind of came out in reverse. Nine of cups, like in reverse. Like you guys went through a lot of painful things. You've been struggling with addiction. You know, a lot of things. And now it's your time. Like I said, happy squirrel. It's your time to shine here, Capricorn. Okay. And this could this could also talk about how you guys are always happy no matter what. If <laughs> someone here wants to fight you probably because you're so happy. Five of swords behind it. What's behind that? Three of swords. I think this is how the world is viewing you. Hold on. Holy Spirit, how is the world viewing Capricorn at this time? Justice, Libra energy. How are you being viewed? Truth, fairness, clarity, you know, balance, you know what I'm saying? Fair, I mean, all of that, like you know what you're doing and you are, you know, and you're making moves. You know, you know where you're going, you know the truth of the situation around you, you know the truth of where you're going, you know, and you're doing everything balanced and fair. You know, this is just justice for you is is this, you know, this period of happiness, Capricorn, is justice for all the horrible things you went through. You went through a lot. So the world is viewing you as you're receiving your you're just due. You know what I'm saying? Like this is due to you. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You know, you may have felt like you wasn't working hard enough, that this would never come, or, you know what I'm saying, or this could talk about how you had a lack of motivation in the past, too, because all the things maybe you went through. Okay, well, let's get back into what's going on with this situation here. Holy Spirit, what's going on with this crazy ex that wants to take you down, I mean, wants to take down Capricorn? What's going on with all of this? Ooh, a sad squirrel in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone who is just not a happy person. <laughs> did I put Mr. Happy Squirrel back? I did. Damn, I wanted to show the comparison, but y'all saw him, okay? So, yeah, the person that is hating on you and or your person, they are a sad squirrel, okay? They may want to fight you. You see how Mr. Sad Squirrel's got like a Louisville Slugger bat? That's my hometown, y'all. <laughs> in his hand like homie does not seem like he wants to play okay so this is somebody here you know that wants to take you down like yeah they <laughs> i might make that the screenshot for this video because they most definitely want to take you down okay <laughs> they are not happy with you what's this about yeah, this is someone who's going through trouble at home. This could be like an ex energy, like somebody that you live with, you don't have to, or maybe a person lived with at one point. You know, things are just like home conflict, there's arguments, like a lot of shit going on. What's the sad squirrel? Ace of Wands. Okay. Someone could be uh, jealous or just a little perturbed by what you're manifesting. Your um, passion, new beginning that's coming in for you. Creativity, a lot of opportunities. Yeah, because they don't want you to move on. Six of Swords in reverse. This is an X energy. Someone has unfinished business with you. And they see you going to take off on this witch's broom and make, a, and make everything happen for yourself. And they are not happy with that shit at all. Yeah, this could be in love, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. Someone knows you're following your heart, you're trusting yourself. You know, this could be new love, a proposal, a baby, you know, into it, all of that. Like someone knows that you are on your way somewhere, that, you know, somewhere stable, committed, and happy. Something that you've been manifesting. And they are very much worried about this, Nine of Swords. They, this, somebody can't even sleep at night worrying about where the hell you're going or what you're going to be doing here. Um, why is this? The hangman, Pisces energy. Someone may um, have to let you go. Or someone's being enlightened to something. What's the hangman about? The empress and the queen of wands. Someone here is sad. Yeah, and the seven of wands. I didn't even see that behind there. 
So we got the Seven of Wands, Empress, Libra, Taurus energy, Queen of Wands, Fire sign energy. I think she's Aries though. And then the Hangman, Pisces energy here. Somebody here is very much mad because, ooh, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I bumped the camera stand. Hold on, let me fix it back. Okay, sorry guys, so sorry. Anyways, okay. Someone here is very dissatisfied with this new passion beginning that you have coming. Okay. You're going to be put in, you're in a, you're in an enviable position and you got to stand up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Someone here wants to knock you down. You know what I'm saying? They see you on your throne as the empress. You know what I'm saying? You're taking action. You're abundant. I mean, you, well, you take action on things you need to, but you know what I'm saying? You're abundant. You're manifesting. You're creating. You're birthing things, giving birth to things. And you're getting a lot of attention. You're looking good at while at it. Uh, Queen of Wands. Sexy, tempting, social butterfly, independent, focused, joyful. Like someone sees you getting all of this attention and they are stuck. You see how like this rope is like tied to a tree. Like homie is like, you know, caught watching. It's like someone is stuck watching you. You know what I'm saying? They're caught up in, in their head very, very much so watching you win. And they are very much disturbed by this Capricorn. They are very much bothered by that. Very, very much so. What else? Yeah, somebody wants to fight, you know, or this could be someone who's in competition with you. And then we got the judgment in reverse. Like someone here has a lot of self-doubt and resentment about maybe something they started too. What's this judgment in reverse with this five of wands? And I mean, five of, what's, yeah. Judgment in reverse, like self-doubt, resentment. This could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. Temperance is in reverse. Yeah, somebody here. You know, they push themselves and others to extremes. They overindulge in things. They shouldn't. Like, someone needs to find balance. This is a very uh, uh, unhealed, unbalanced energy here who just wants to fight. The, you know, someone here could be under judgment, too. I didn't I just say that they want to fight? Five of Swords, that's conflict fighting energy. Like, somebody just wants to fight you for simply being you, Capricorn. They cannot stand that you, you know, now if this, this could be your ex, this could be the ex of the person of your person, your new person, or like an ex friend, you know, family, but whatever, whoever it is, they, that dude, they are like, they want to, they got beef with you because you walked away from them. What, what's, what's the liar? What are they lying about? <laughs> liar liar pants on fire page of swords in reverse that's a liar deception manipulation gossip liar liar pants on fire seven of swords six of cups somebody's lying about something that happened in the past it may involve children it may involve a happy memory what the world is going on here The truth is coming out. Knight of Swords. Or someone's being investigated. The Knight of Swords can be an investigator too. Or someone seeking out the truth. Someone very assertive. So this could be you coming out and speaking some truth on them. Or someone is airing their asses out, Capricorn. Whatever it is somebody's hiding, the truth is about to come out. And the thing is, is that you know, now I don't know, I'm going to, I'm going to do some more cards and see like it what you know, what they could possibly be hiding, but whatever it is, they have been hiding this from you for a minute and you may not know exactly what it is. You just know that it's enough for you to walk away. Whatever it is, nine of wands in reverse, like this is going to have you feeling defeated. Whatever this person is keeping from you or, you know, or they, this could be you or your person, but someone, this is going to leave you feeling defeated. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's why they've been keeping this because they know when you find this out, you, you maybe you're going to feel like giving up. This is definitely exhausting type. It's like, you're going to be exhausted when you find out what the hell this person has done. Ten of, I did not say that. Ten of wands. Like, you're going to be fucking exhausted when you find out what someone here has been hiding from you. Like, this is something very burdensome. Or maybe you already found out. You know, but whatever it is, like, this is just something that's just too fucking much. Hence why you guys have walked away or distant, or you're being guided to, to distance yourself from this person and focus on yourself. And maybe this is why you already did, because this was just too much to deal with. I'm going to have to title your reading that.
Give me one second. Okay, sorry guys, I had to write that down so I don't forget. Okay, so, let's get back to it. Jeez Louise. Nine of Cups. Now, this kind of came out sideways. Let me see what that's about. What's the Nine of Cups, Holy Spirit? The Death Reverse. Yeah, this is in Reverse. This is smugness. This is like overindulging in drinking, like lacking, lacking, lacking inner joy. You know what I'm saying? This is someone who overdrinks to numb out the pain of what they're going through. Scorpio energy with the death reverse. Like someone here, they've been overindulging in something. It could be drugs, alcohol doesn't have to be, you know, but someone here really needs to check within to see the, see what the sources of their unhappiness. They really do. Or someone here could be resisting an inevitable end with you because they know it's over. With this death reverse, like someone does not want this to be done. You know what I'm saying? They don't want this to be done. Eight of Cups, yeah, they know you're walking away. They know that you, I really feel like this energy feels like that they've disappointed you to the point of no return. Man, that's heavy. Who? So what's next here, Holy Spirit, for Capricorn? That's kind of heavy, y'all. I'm sorry. I feel like Holy Spirit is like, whatever you want, baby. Seven of Cups. Um, I love this deck of cards because, it's, of course, it's court cartoons and all. But this particular card is funny to me because it looks like a refrigerator, even though it's just like a shelf with different cups on it. But the Seven of Cups is all about choices, opportunities, you know, some good, some bad. I really feel like Spirit is saying, you know, the world is yours. Pick whatever you want at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can have whatever you want. You see how, like, he's, like, sitting there with his hand over his mouth, like, hmm, what should I have first? Should I have this or this? You guys could also be on a diet. You know what I'm saying? You guys could be watching what you eat, or this could be a call for you to watch what you're eating. You know what I'm saying? You guys could be like peeking in out of the refrigerator at like two o'clock in the morning, get your asses to bed, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't have to be, okay? I'm on a, I'm, trust me, I'm on a weight loss journey, okay? So whatever. But my point is that, you know, I really feel like Spirit is saying, whatever you want, you can have. Just choose. Just choose wisely because with the seven of cups, some of these are good cups and some of these are bad. Like this cup with the victory wreath on it, it's empty. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you're being careful of what you're picking out when, and being very selective of your choices in the future. And I really feel like you guys, I really feel like that's what you're doing. You're learning lessons here with the Hierophant, Taurus energy. You guys are, you know, this could also talk about how um, you guys may be put in a position to teach or lead others or a mentor, or you might need to reach out for support. And this could be a new beginning for you. Yeah, your role in life could very much be helping those less fortunate, those going through things with the three of swords in reverse. That's healing energy. The fool represents new beginnings, taking chances, a leap of faith. You know, I really feel like you guys are on the right path. You know, you're on a path to healing and also showing others how to heal at the same time. And, and things are going to turn out well for you guys, Capricorn. It is. You know, this could be a, this may have been a very frustrating, a very like um, stressful situation, but you're going to make it out okay. You know, just keep working hard, you know, work, you know, really keep your eyes focused on building your stability, your security, you know what I'm saying? And everything's going to turn out fine. Don't let anything distract you or stop you, okay? Don't let none of this, like, yeah. All right. Um, whew, man, Capricorn. Let's get you some advice, shall we, okay? Um, also, but before, you know, I don't like to leave readings off on a negative note here. I'm going to pull out some love cards here. Um, some Twin Flame soulful messages. You know, um, I'm going to pull out something here for love, for those... Who are on a twin flame journey because this situation here may involve that it does not have to be but i really feel like someone has something they want you to know something they want you to say and they are just having trouble saying it because 
My crazy ex won't let me go, so I keep my feelings for you on the down low. So let's see what this person wants to say. We are working together in unison on healing our wounds. This is someone who sees you as a healer. And you may also see this person as a healer as well. You know, you guys could be going through a process, an inner transformation of the self where you're healing wounds on each other. I mean, for your, I mean, healing wounds for yourself, but also healing them on each other. Like you guys could be pointing out wounds on each other and, and healing them. That's typically what twin flames do. They point out things that you struggle with, things you need to address, you know. This is someone who is acknowledging that you guys definitely do work well together on healing each other's wounds. What else? I've been carrying you in my heart every single day. What else? That's sweet. I'm confused and torn between my head and my heart. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's definitely been struggling because of maybe a third party. So they've been keeping their feelings on the low for you, Capricorn. Now, this doesn't make things better, but I wanted to be able to provide some sort of insight into how they are possibly feeling about you in the connection. You could be a separation from this person or you could be together. I've been feeling in the dark without you in my life. Someone here feels very much lost without you. They feel very bad about you walking away. Nothing's ever going to change my love for you. You are the one. Yeah, someone understands why you did what you had to do. You know, they understand. You know what I'm saying? They want to heal things. But right now, I really feel like this person is torn between their head and their heart. Okay, let me get you some advice. Okay, step back. You're being asked to step back from your life in order to gain perspective. When you're too close to a situation, it can be hard to make a decision. Span out and view your life from a distance so that you can get the perspective that is needed. Align. You're being asked to align with your current situation even if it's not easy to do so. Trust that there is much to be learned by being here. Pushing against what is will only make things harder on you. Align, surrender, trust. Patience. You're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but you're strong and there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. Have patience. It will eventually work out. Spirit is saying to please align with your current situation. You know, um, and also be patient. You know, things are moving. You know, there's a reason why things aren't aligning the way they are because, you know, they're, it's like a game of chess and the universe is playing. You know, you're not in control. The universe is, okay? And also, um, it looks like you guys may have needed to take a step back in order to gain perspective on this situation here. Okay, I'm also going to get you an um, African Goddess Rising Oracle. So you've got Mame Kwamba Bong with Speak Up. I if you can see that. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Her guidance says, speak up, speak out, speak on it. You have a right to be heard. You are betraying yourself by not speaking up. Your words have power. Own your voice. As the old saying goes, stand up for something or fall for anything. Being neutral is not an option. When you stand firmly in your truth, you have thoughts, opinions, beliefs, and convictions. What do you stand for? Tell someone today. And her declaration says, I reclaim my voice. I speak out and speak up. So yeah, Capricorn, you know, um, 
you, I mean, you guys, I really feel like you guys don't have a problem speaking up at this point because I really feel like you guys have taken in so much, <laughs> you know, that you can't hold in anymore and you guys have just let it out and you guys may even feel guilty about it after the fact, but I really feel like this is something you guys need to do more often is speak up on something. You know, if you know that someone's been lying to you, if you know someone's been deceptive if, or, or you, you know, just for the fact that you've been hurt, you know what I'm saying? Like communicate that. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be afraid to stand up and speak up for what you stand, what you need to. You know, stand up for yourself. Okay, Capricorn. So, I'm going to end your reading there. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the love and support. Please thumbs up the video for your girl. It certainly does help the channel out. Um, I wanted to mention that I also have playlists available for all the signs. And my readings are timeless. So, please check them out because there could be additional messages in there for you as well. Okay? I'm going to get out of here and into the next reading. And I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.